All right, so we got a Yeezy Gap update as my latest order from the Los Angeles archive has arrived. So today we're gonna be trying on a few different pieces, plus stay tuned as it looks like they got a deal going on right now that you guys may not wanna miss out on. But to kick things off, we're gonna start with the latest and greatest here in sneakers. Now, this first leak, it feels like it came out of absolutely nowhere, but apparently we got a Tekken 8 Nike Foam Posit 1 on the way and according to Eldon monitors it looks like these joints are scheduled to drop coming up this fall now as far as the design details on here outside of this scale like design that we have here on the upper you got some tech and branding but low key these joints are kind of giving like galaxy phone positive vibes but based off the early reception online it seems like many people don't have too many positive things to say about these other than you know these do come with some nice special edition packaging so my guess is this release will be very limited and now that nike's teaming up with video game companies all i ask for is a pair of gta 6 black air force ones next up we got another classic returning which according to z sneakerheads and sneaker files the jordan one high og unc will be making a comeback next summer now as far as the last time we saw these drop i want to say it was 2015 and i believe that's the only time that we've seen nike actually retro these outside of the original release so of course this is one of the OG Jordan 1 colorways. This is the pair which went on to inspire the off-white UNC Jordan 1s. And with Nike bringing these out the vault, I would say 10 years is definitely overdue, which you guys can look out for these to be dropping coming up summer of 2025. Now, remember, these are gonna be reimagined, so there's no telling what the design details will be. When it comes to reimagined releases, Nike could do a couple of different things. One, switch up the materials, maybe even keep them OG, or who knows, possibly give them that vintage age look. But be on the lookout for these dropping summer of 2025, which based off the leaks and rumors that we've heard so far, 2025 that summer specifically is looking stacked on top of these we have rumors of the white cement jordan fours returning you got the undefeated fours you got the grape fives i'm on my year fives trophy room sixes aqua eight steel tens plus more the summer is definitely looking stacked and with all of those pairs i don't know how jordan brand is planning to drop all of those in just one summer on top of that it's the 40th anniversary so with all of that being said let's just say jordan brand probably has some huge tricks up their sleeves and speaking of jordan ones it looks like we have a look here some special packaging some more of the details for the jordan high og black tall which is scheduled to drop coming up this october now with all of the talk that the jordan one is dying we could just say that they're not as popular as they used to be it's going to be very interesting to see how popular this release is, especially given the fact that this is like an OG, a really special sneaker. Now, as far as this limited edition or like special packaging that you guys see right here, does this actually entice you to make you want to buy these more? I feel like when it comes to special packaging, you know, if the sneaker is not hot, it's really not going to do anything for me. And as far as like special packaging, I feel like the only thing it could really do is just enhance a sneaker is already great so let me know what you guys think about these joints and lastly we got the world's very first look here at the upcoming jordan 3 black cements now you can already believe that once the year ends this is going to be one of those shoes that's most definitely going to be on a lot of people's top 10 sneakers of the year list i think the last time we got these was 2018 so not a bad timing for Jordan brand to bring these back. Now, while it's kind of tough to tell what's going on with this like really bad quality image right here from what people are saying so far is that these do have a little bit of a higher cut than some of the recent releases and that these are a lot more true to shape to the OG original release. And switching gears over to Yeezy. So my latest order from the Los Angeles archive has arrived. Now this website, it felt like low key, it just popped out of nowhere selling the unreleased Yeezy Gap collection. Now, first First, I was a little weary, so I decided to put in a small little order just to test the water, but it turns out shipping was fast, everything was legit, and they got great customer service. So you already know it was a no-brainer to put in a bigger order. So first we tried the lightweight sweatpants, some t-shirts, as well as the zip-up hoodie, and now we got some more pants to try out. So first up, we got the heavyweight sweatpants, which these joints uh, definitely feel exactly 
as they sound. Super heavyweight. I would almost compare these to like that perfect hoodie that they dropped with Easy and Gap previously. Due to the fact that this is a double layer pair of sweatpants, super heavyweight around the waist. They do feature a drawstring. I would say true to size around the waist, but as you get into the legs, they have a really wide baggy fit. Exactly what I was looking for here in a pair of sweatpants. So for reference, I'm six foot, 185 pounds i decided to pick these up in a size medium usually i go with like a large sometimes xl in pants so just be aware that they fit true to size around the waist but because they have like this huge baggier fit around the leg i would suggest to go down one size now next up we got the cargo pant which from the first look these almost appear to have the same material as a sweat pant but once you get a little more into the details they do have that cargo type of material now the first thing that kind of turned me off about these was the waist, this like elastic band around the waist. Usually anytime I see a pair of pants with this around the waist, you know, it's a turn off for me. But as far as with these, you know, I, I gave it a chance. Now these fit great. They're actually more lightweight than compared to the heavyweight sweatpants. They do feature one utility pocket on the side of the leg as well as your standard pockets. But as far as the legs, rather than a baggier fit that we got with the heavyweight sweatpants, this is more of like a straight leg type of fit. So I picked these up in a size medium. Uh, they do fit true to size. So a couple of more pickups from the Los Angeles archive and I'm low key attempted to kind of pick up more stuff. When it comes to this Yeezy Gap collection, what I really love about it is like all the different colors with the wash. Although a lot of these colors are similar, it just makes me want to like go back and almost collect every single color. This stuff is just that great. So I may have to pick up a couple more pairs of these cargos, but may actually go with a size large over the medium but the medium still a good fit regardless but i just want something a little bit baggier so i really love like the heavy sweatpants with that wide fit but as far as the cargoes may have wanted to go with something a little baggier but these will still work now as far as the los angeles archive who knows how long this stuff will be on sale but i just gotta salute them for bringing us this unreleased collection well under the suggested retail price point now they've been doing some really cool stuff actually rewarding loyal customers as last friday they sent out a special email in which they were selling the yeezy gab balenciaga dove hoodie now in order to purchase this this wasn't a sum that was just up for sale for the general public they were actually rewarding their loyal customers Customers. So for people that place two orders or more, they sent you the exclusive link in which you had just a short time to be able to cop these. Now the small sizes, of course, did sell out really fast, being as that hoodie's like really oversized. But salute to them for doing that cool little gesture. I think that's a really great way to, uh, you know, give back to their loyal customers. And then right now, they got a crazy sale going on. Previously, they had that little t-shirt bundle going on. And right now, they got the Gap Yeezy pullover hoodie, which originally they were selling for $75, which already is below the suggested retail. But now they got these joints on sale for just 40 bucks. And apparently, this is gonna be a blowout sale, final sale, as it looks like this will be the last of that inventory. So just be aware, you guys have only 24 hours as this sale will expire soon. So another great steal from the Los Angeles archive let me know if you guys picked up anything are you interested in this pullover hoodie as far as sizing just go ahead and go with the sizing chart and everything based off their website but who knows how long this stuff will last for so it may be something you want to jump on before it all runs out i'm gonna actually probably have to grab some more of those cargos as i mentioned so we're gonna wrap things up right here salute to everybody for tuning in let me know what you guys think about all these jordan brand leaks do you feel like they're gonna be able to drop all that stuff all in just one summer plus drop your feedback on this easy gap stuff did you guys cop anything or not so i'm ja make sure you guys stay safe stay blessed appreciate y'all and i'll catch you guys tomorrow love